Hey guys, I watched Nothing Fancy's video on the KS70. Put out like two days ago. I watched it today during lunch. Had some thoughts on it. I share with you guys. If you're interested, stay tuned. It's nothing like I I didn't. There's nothing I hate in the video. Just the stuff I disagreed with for the most part. It was a good video. Uh, there's a lot I agree with. He recommended the Winch 1300. He recommended three inch shells. Two things I'm, I'm a fan of, and I'm a big fan of him. The only thing I didn't like with the video was all the issues he had with the Celtic KS7 is stuff that could be fixed. The cycling issue he had, I'm sure if he sent it back to Celtic and he got it back, that issue can be fixed. When I had mine, it wasn't 100% out of the box. It gave me a lot of light primer strikes with any load I put through it, but it can cycle anything. And then that was because I didn't clean it, didn't lube it, and just took it out to freezing conditions and it didn't work properly. After cleaning it and now being in warmer condition, I have not had any issues with it. And that's hundreds of shells in in the video. That was the, the joke, which it was funny. It's like... For a lot of guys that buy this, this is something for the collection. They'll put 10 shells to it. 100% liable, no issue, because they haven't put enough shells to it. That that makes sense. But um, with the design itself, there's a lot you can switch out from Keltex website themselves or aftermarket. For the forend, which they didn't like the design, they wanted to add a vertical grip to it, which is the option with the KSG and not with this. That's something that can be done aftermarket, not through Keltex themselves. But what Keltex does offer is for the M-Lock slots, you can add um to add a sling to add a light a tube extension to extend like the pull with a larger butt pad and aftermarket also can add a side saddle to add just shells on the side but yeah i have not had issues with this this would be a good home defense pick it's compact it's seven plus one this is a great design now comparing this to a another 18 and a half inch shotgun i have here this is six plus one a little size difference here the Keltec has holds one more shell. See, be fair. There you go, flat. That's how much more compact it is. And for recoil, I for the the Keltec KS7, I would not pick three inch shells. I would stick with two and three fourths. Um, number four buck. And yeah, this is a good pick. This is reliable. If you are if you're by Keltec, you're joining the Keltec quality control team. That's just there's no way of getting around it. It doesn't matter which Keltec you buy. You need to put rounds you put shells to it and that, i would say that for anything uh if you're buying a glock it's you know great reliability but you still need to put rounds to it if you're buying any brand you're buying an ar or ak still put rounds to it don't just load it up oh it's, it's fine it's 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 reliable it works fine put rounds to it shells to it and again with the Keltec ks7 there's nothing that can't be fixed sending it back to them is not the end of the world obviously it's costing you time and money but and then that you have a shotgun that works which is much better than be like ah oh, it's that's not worth it and same thing if you don't like something on it that you can basically switch anything out um the pistol grip uh doesn't appear to be able to switch out which yes does feel very cheap but uh i don't see it breaking or anything like that it's not that cheap but for the feel not good same thing with the trigger the trigger feels like um uh, like an airsoft style trigger but uh yeah it's fine it works once you put the time and effort in to making it work or sending it back and putting your money into it. Uh, and yeah, that is about it for the video. Only a little criticism. My, I'm, I'm a big fan. I like his videos. But yeah, he just yeah, didn't put enough time into it. It's like he didn't pattern it. He didn't, like, oh, I don't want to pattern it because I didn't want to cycle. Okay, that's that's fine. It's your video. Do whatever you want. That's just, You can still pattern it even if it doesn't cycle. And uh, send it back and give us a better review. And, and that will be, give us a better representation of their quality control. Are they going to fix the issue when you send it back? If I continue to have light primer strikes, I would tell you guys and send it back. And it has the same issue. I will let you guys know to give you a more informed opinion on the product itself and their quality control. Because any firearm I have an issue with, send it back to the manufacturer. I've never been given a firearm back that doesn't work again. Typically, you send it back, they'll fix it. You're part of the quality control team now. Welcome to the Celtic family. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.